Okay, welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. In the previous video, we just got done with our first mission in Dubai and got hit by an explosion at the train station. And now our augmentations are all messed up. Just like I thought would happen. Uh, it's not exactly how I thought it would happen, but I knew that it was going to happen to some degree. And now it looks like we're back in... Back home. It's a beautiful sight. It's pretty cool. You can interact with a bunch of little things. We've got a newsletter here. And we can take a shower too. How much of his body is not augmented? His rib cage, his head, his brain, or is it just leftover skin or artificial skin? And how much would you think too much is? How much is too much augmentation? Uh, not like you had a, a choice, really. Would you want to be augmented? Wait, what? That's that's really unsettling. Open blinds. Freaking creeper. Oh man, that's awesome. You have one new message. From David Darren. <sighs> Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but after what happened in Prague yesterday. Look, whatever reason. Leaving for London, but uh, give me a call. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. That's awesome. He's got a sweet little pad here. <laughs> Crump of the pirate. Froggy. I, I couldn't read that. A bio cell, perfect. Yes, I know what a bio cell does. Digital book. That's a pretty cool little system. Who wouldn't want that in their house? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I like my plats upside down. All right, let's call Seraph. Seraph. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all over the news. Did anyone you know get hurt? You know me. I tend to keep to myself. I'm surprised you even know I'm here. Interpol called me when you applied for the job. Are there extensive background checks? And I gave you a glowing recommendation. Thanks. What do you want? What do I want? Jeez, Adam. I know I did some questionable things in the past, but a lot's happened in the last two years, to both of us. You've obviously landed on your feet, though, unlike a lot of other people. That's true, but for what it's worth, I'm glad you made it on Panchea. I 
I'm gonna concede. That's true. For what it's worth, I'm glad you made it out of Panchea. Thank you. It wasn't easy, as I'm sure you know. I was at death's door by the time the rescue crews pulled me out of the wreckage, and while the doctors were stitching me back together, my company fell apart. There wasn't anything I could do to stop it, not from a hospital bed. I heard Tai Young Medical bought everything up. They're the only biotech corporation that could, after the incident. Our patents, our tech, everything. Oh well, sometimes one dream has to die so another can rise from its ashes. You heard anything from Megan? <sighs> After all we went through, I thought she'd stand by me. Still, you know, she always wanted to be at the cutting edge. She didn't see a future for herself in Detroit, so she went to VersaLife. Did you move to Hong Kong? San Francisco. They've got an offshore research facility there named Rokaseka Beach. I'm sure you've seen it in the news. California, huh? I wonder if she's told her mother. You want my advice, son? Write her out of your life. I'm damn sure she's written a side of hers. You talked to Pritchard lately? Frank! <laughs> Out of all of us, I think he's the one who's changed the least. He'd probably tell you there wasn't anything about him that needed changing. I'm sure he would. But when the world transforms itself the way ours has, people need to adapt or get left behind. Frank's freelance now, but he's still in computer security, still in Detroit. I don't know if he'll ever leave. Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip, or is this tied to the new dream? I'm uh, meeting with the Santo group. Nathaniel Brown and his investors. Santo? They built the Udalek complex, the Og Ghetto, here in Prague. Why are you meeting with them? Brown's got big plans. He wants to focus on real solutions, ideas that look to the future. Y you've heard of the Safe Harbor Initiative? I've heard of Rabia. The walled city he and his company are building in the desert for Augs? The bee is just a part of it. We're talking about self-sustaining, energy-efficient arcologies that can be replicated anywhere on Earth. Cities built by the Augmented for the Augmented. Where the dream of self-controlled human evolution lives on. It may not seem like it right now, son, but one day, people will move on from the incident. And when that happens, we'll be ready for it. I'm glad we caught up, Adam. I've always tried to look out for you, you know. That bombing yesterday. It's true. I called to talk about the bombing. Just ask. It's nothing, really. I just need a signature so I can finish filing the bankruptcy paperwork. You need my signature? Yeah, apparently there was some kind of bureaucratic mix-up caused by you being declared legally dead for a year. The apartment in Detroit was leased to your name, even though we paid for it. Fine. Send me the paperwork. Thanks, Adam. I appreciate it. Bye, Seraph. I understand why he's skeptical of trusting people, but he actually does seem like he's legitimately apologetic and actually likes Adam. I don't think I'd be able to survive much in this world with people backstabbing and being shady. Yeah, no. We're not doing that. Mm. Alright, let's move on. Miller, it's Jensen. Sweet. It's good to finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my Augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Jensen! Now's actually a really good time for me, like right now! Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster-looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack... The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. Oh, man. So I gotta find my way to his place. What's with all the trash here? Hello. Get 
Oh, well, uh, alright then. I'm assuming that's somebody's house. That's my place walled off. My neighbor was augmented and they destroyed their apartment two years ago. So, what does that mean? What does that have to do with me? I can't just assume that I'll do the same thing. Just because I'm augmented. Attack. Member of Ark. Oh shit. He is just a poor aug with the wrong enhancements and the wrong connections. He outgrew his usefulness. Or they needed the apartment. Maybe for another bench. If that's true, they could do the same to any. Oh, Maybe it's open. How long until they evict us too? Please leave me alone. Okay. Uh didn't know it was open. You know what? I'm just going to keep going. Because people be crazy. I can go through a vent. That's not suspicious. Oh, well. I get points for exploring, so I'm going to go ahead and keep going this way. Since they're promoting my actions. What's going to be the purpose of experience? Whoa, hey, Rizu. Oh, okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. Are those drugs? I really have no idea. Oh, he's a thug, so... I'm obviously not in a... friendly environment. Hmm. Ugh. Oh, I can't hack? Like normal? I forget it. What is this? Nah. I know I'm supposed to be going to go get my stuff fixed, but I stumbled across this. And frankly, I don't. Alright, your hatred is noted. Hmm. Okay. There is a lot of parkour that can be done in this game. Oh, hey. Eh. Not much in there. Man. How can it look so beautiful yet so depressing at the same time? I'm not gonna get much publicity here. Machine God. Alright. Uh, I'll leave you to that. Are these garages? Alright, let's go. Keep getting distracted. There's so much to look for. Alright, here's the map. Sewer accesses, metro stations. Alright, fair enough. Hmm. Sure, it is my own business. Street is off limits, Oyobok. Private function. All businesses are temporarily closed. 
Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to find an alternative. See what else I can do. Because frankly, I don't feel like fighting, especially without my augmentations. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoop, that went, went terrible. Let's try that again. I like that little jump icon on my bottom left screen. Oh, I'm too distracted by that. <laughs> and I missed again. Let's try this again. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to find my way around without causing any trouble. No, no one's in here. It's pretty messy though. Oh. Let's see. There's another vent there. Where do I need to go? I need to go here to the bookstore. Could always, I could try over here. Kind of not getting very far, looks like. Okay, now I'm in the restricted area. Let's go. I want to go in there. Hmm. Can I not lock onto him? Oh, maybe because the odds broken. So, is there any other ways to get around? Oh. Didn't know I can get this out. Uh-oh. Oh, it looks like I got caught. Uh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright, so I actually ended up dying, so... I had to restart this section, but I'm going to keep with my non-lethal play. I'm going to do the best that I can, but looks like I can get through there on the second floor and I'm going to go ahead and give that a try, try to avoid getting caught. Just destroying the books. The city, maybe. Started blowing shit up. Start sipping the traps. Go grab a couple books on my way. How much more time? 
get back. Alright. Okay. So we got a guy over there. Okay, so it takes that. He's not here, I know it. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. What? Nobody's here. All right, good. Oh, my inventory's full. Tactical shotgun? What kind of items do we have? I really don't think I want a millimeter pistol. Ten millimeter pistol. Typhoon ammo, machine pistol. So if I equip this, can I change the ammo? Something tells me I might be incredibly limited with the amount of uh, weapon selection that I'm going to have with the type of place that I'm on. I wish I could see how much these are worth. See how this is. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use those. I might just sell it. I don't need anything else. Well, it's over here, so we'll just continue. Jensen! Thank God! I'm down in the dungeon, man! You remember the title of my super secret book? Hmm. Right? I remember it's red. I already know that the the book that we need to select is behind us. I saw that, but I'm still gonna look around before I actually take off. See a couple credits there. Is that? Yeah, that book's inside the desk. Man, so much detail in this game. All right. Mm -hmm. Is there any more thugs here? Yeah, they're down at the bottom. Gas has it. Alright, nice. <laughs> Not the way I had pictured it or had hoped, but still got through it. My favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? Nothing I couldn't handle. What do they want? You behind on your protection money? I I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. Valley internal politics. I, I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself as soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man. It's, well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. 
took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sad fogs of yours. A real close look. Yeah, it's so, creepy. Uh, so let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then, well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Huh? Feel my way around. Uh. Hang on a sec, you're gonna put me under for how long? What if the Diwali send reinforcements? Oh, you're just stalling. Those illiterates aren't going to get in here. Don't be scared of the chair, okay? The chair is gentle. I promise. You this don't thing make with it. The Diwali is nothing. Otar's pissing where he shouldn't. I count on you to fix me, Kohler. To some extent, your problems are my problems. That's sweet, Jensen. Altar Botkoveli is the Diwali number two guy. The men outside, they were his men. But the big boss man is Radic Nikoladze. He is the number one guy. And I know Radic, so... So don't worry about it. Now, are we gonna do this procedure, or what? <sighs> what exactly are you going to do to me? I'm not sure yet. First, I got to get in there to see what's wrong. But don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to you I wouldn't do to myself. I promise. Besides, you've been here a few times. You know I'm professional. You've never had to put me under before. I never saw you the day after an explosion before either. That was a big shock to your system, man. Kaboom! Now, you want me to fix you or not? As creeped out as I am, he does seem like he's dependable. All right, let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's, See what? It's gonna be fine. You, you won't even know I'm in there. You'll feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. The dangling arms and the blood on the floor don't seem reassuring. Especially when he says he's a professional. <laughs> oh no. What? Oh, thank God. Take it easy. I swear I didn't mean to... Your retinal display should be back soon. I was... I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking ogs back there. I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have. Here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh... Just ease up. Okay, don't freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Core? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... These, uh, I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. Oh, this is good. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah, David Seraf installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well, I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. To navigate for one of the experimental arcs. Hmm. It's okay, Jensen. One isn't gonna kill you. You've said that before. Let's do this or this one. 
see that? Major spike in your power consumption. Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, woken them up. you want to use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just gotta make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. Be disabled. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. Hmm, there's the tracker. So social enhancer? Or happiness. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. See that? Cooled you right down. You have the power hmm. to balance your system if you want. That's Just, cool. You know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. All right. Glad to see he didn't kill me. Okay. So I'm not always going to be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. But you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man. I'm pretty sure they're not <laughs> from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. To help you make the most of the new augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraph installed all my augs. There's something inside me I don't know about. He's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new augs, they... They look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoriological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. Well, I'm glad he's enjoying himself. You ever seen anything like this before? An AUG system that's deliberately hidden like that? I don't know, Jensen. I mean, I heard of people getting the black market treatment before. Pass out in Prague, wake up in Shanghai. But usually they wake up with less augs, not more. What exactly makes these augs so different from my other ones? They look like experiments, is what. Loose wiring everywhere, man. It's like half of you is untested, unfinished, unbelievable. It's, it's beautiful, is what it is. That's a pleasant com compliment, but... I've hidden these things inside me. Still I'm unsettling. I am not convinced this is a Sarif job. The tech itself is super high-end, but the PDOT insulation, sloppy. The bone mounting mounted on the quick. Just doesn't have Sarif's touch. Looks more like a retrofit to me. Something much more recent. Um, what are you thinking? I'm thinking how much I hate being unconscious. You said these additions look recent. How recent? Within the last two years, give or take. Something happened to you in that time? I was pulled out of the ocean and put in some facility in Alaska to recover. There's a few months there that... The more I try to remember, the blurrier it gets. Shit, Jensen. That's terrifying. Yeah, it is. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. 
keeps customers happy. Just uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. I mean, why not? There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise. I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? <laughs> but my last shipment got intercepted by Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. If that sounds like something that interests you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard off Hlavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kohler. Thanks for the praxis. Well, there's a lot that went on. But yeah, if I can use these without consequence, why not go after it? But that went on much longer than I anticipated. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.